Hello, my very most beautiful Capricorns. How are you guys? I hope everyone is doing amazing. So we are going to be doing a bonus reading, a who's coming towards you. So we're going to take a look at any energies, anybody that could be coming towards you, okay? In love. Now it is a general reading, so it will not be able to, you know, resonate for everyone. So if you want something that is tailored for your exact energy, I do have personals open. Now everything that you guys need to know about this reading or about scheduling your personal, boom, all of that will be in the description box below for you. Page of Wands started out. Maybe a new start, a new beginning. Definitely some attraction. So let's take a look and see what's going on. Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding from my most beautiful Capricorn, please. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Capricorn's energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what's going on for you. Wow. Okay, the Ten of Cups and the Emperor. So this is somebody who really knows what they want, okay? This is someone who really knows what they want. And honestly, I'm getting with this Emperor. It's kind of like this wait and see energy. Like this person isn't afraid to, to be on their own until they find what they're looking for. This is definitely not somebody who is willing to settle at all, okay? This is somebody who knows what they want. They want a family. They want the whole thing. You know, they don't want just something casual, okay? They they know what they want, and they're willing to wait. They're willing to wait. The thing is, in the traditional deck, he is seated, okay? But he's got his armor on, which means that he, he might not be taking action at that moment, um, but he's always ready for it. And I feel like that's this, this person is ready for something real this person is ready for something long term something stable okay and they're not they're not afraid to just sit back and wait okay they're not afraid to wait for it to happen they're not just trying to fill space with anything okay i really like this what else can we find out about this person this energy okay we have pisces and aries energy here the ten of cups and the emperor aquarius energy with the star card so this is some kind of wish fulfillment. This is the kind of relationship that, you know, you've been waiting for. And I feel like it's the same way for them as well. This is something that could be really beautiful with this Ten of Cups and this Star card here. Okay. Um, you know, wish fulfillment, happiness, healing, balance. You know, that's what this person is looking for. And I feel like that's what this connection will be for both of you. Okay. It has a lot of potential here. What actions? Well, let's get your energy first. Got the world card in the reverse. Got the three of wands. So this is something you've manifested. Okay, you've been waiting for it. Some of you guys have been trying to close something out, okay? Something from the past. Even if it's somebody that you already separated from, you've been trying to, you know, um, close it out energetically, emotionally. You know, really just be able to move past it and let it go here, okay, with that energy. The two of pentacles. Yeah, trying to regain your balance. I do feel like a lot of you guys are coming out of something, and I feel like you guys are trying to regain your balance, um, get used to life on your own, regain, you know, some semblance of balance since this person. The three of wands, that is a sign that your manifestation is coming in. But this is also a card of, like, waiting for the right one as well. It's waiting for the right time, waiting for your ships to come. You're waiting for something to give here. You've been trying to maintain, trying to just... You know, find some peace, find some harmony since this ending, trying to put it behind you, waiting for what's meant for you to come. And I feel like it is, you know, this is definitely a sign that something is manifesting here for you. Wish fulfillment. You're this person's wish. This person definitely wants something long-term, something serious. This is not somebody who's trying to play any games, okay? They're not trying to play games here. So let's grab another deck. We're going to see what actions may be taken. What actions is this person going to be taking? What actions will this person be taking towards Capricorn? What actions will this person be taking towards Capricorn? Three of Swords in the reverse. And the Ace of Swords. So this person is really going to understand your past hurt and pain with this energy here. Um, I feel like they've had their own. They've been through their own. They're really going to have a deep understanding for yours and what you're going through and what you've been through. And that's one of the things that's going to stand out to you the very most about this person, okay, is 
is just how like completely accepting like I almost feel like you have this idea that you're broken I don't know why I'm getting that word but it almost feels to me Capricorn that you feel like you've you know you're too damaged or you're too broken or you've been through too much um, I don't think that's the case at all and this person doesn't either but this person really makes you feel like it doesn't matter what you've been through it doesn't matter what your flaws are like this is um, somebody who's very accepting of what you call your damage, you know, somebody who not just accepting, but you know, loves every bit of it. There's something about this person in the way that they embrace all of you um, and the negative aspects that stands out to you the most. Okay. And I do feel like it brings you a lot of clarity into the situation as well. I feel like you do that for them too. So their action, I do feel like they're coming in with this very accepting energy, you know, this very clear, very straightforward, very honest, upfront energy. They're going to just bear it all out there. Okay. Um, I like this a lot. What actions will Capricorn be taking towards this person? No, what actions will Capricorn be taking? We got the Knight of Wands in the reverse. The World card. Let's see what this is about. I almost get this energy of you being afraid to move forward. Um, because I do feel like moving forward with this person would mean that something from this past is closing out for good. Um, and some of you, I think, I don't think this is a message for everybody, but I do think some of you guys are going to have a hard time with that. Okay. Um, it, it would mean that you really, you know, by starting a new relationship that whatever you were letting go of from your past, you know, that doesn't have space to come back. It's really over then. And I think some of you guys are going to have a little bit of a hard time accepting that. Others of you guys, you know, that's what you've been working towards. So this is just this energy of, you know, not wanting anything that's inconsistent, wanting something that is going to be very solid and that's your action you know is to start up a new you know to be very sure about what you want to start up a new cycle with somebody um with no inconsistency with no hesitations i like this all right we're going to i want to pull some additional message cards and then Any other messages that we have for Capricorn? Any other messages that we have for Capricorn? Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Yeah, especially if, um, especially if you're having some doubts and hesitations because of things you've been through in the past or because of closing something out. You know, there may be some inner work that needs to be done. There may be some fears surrounding this and spirit is saying it's going to be worth it this is one of those situations where it's going to be worth whatever whatever inner work whatever work you have to do in order to um to give this a fair shot keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation there's something about this person that's going to be different okay there's something about them like i said for, for one i think they stand out to you because of how accepting that they are you know they don't make you feel um they don't make you feel any type of way. You instantly feel like you can be, you know, who you are, your authentic self right away. When this keep note, they may look different. They may come from like a different culture or a different background or something of that effect um, for some of you as well. It's just, I feel like it's just not the type of person that you expected to find yourself with. Codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life. This reminds me of the devil card, okay? So I do, like I said, I feel like some of you are having a hard time closing something out. Now, the devil is your energy, Capricorn, but I don't think that that's the message that's coming through here. Um, I just feel like spirit is saying the devil can represent, you know, fears and holding on to things. Spirit is saying don't turn away that something that could be really beautiful um, just because of fear of fully removing, you know, letting go of the past. If that's not your case, if that's not something that you're going to have a hard time with, okay, if you're ready to put that behind you and that's not there, you know, an issue, there could be other fears, okay, coming up for you. Like, what if I get hurt again? What if this doesn't work? You know, what if they're, you know, not as into me as I am, whatever, whatever the fears are that are coming up, you know, this card is coming out for a reason. So spirit is saying there's going to be a need to really work with those energies, take a deeper look at them with this, make the effort. You may have to really spend some time doing some inner work to really, you know, go with these energies and take a look at them on a deeper level. The spirit is saying it's going to be worth it. Okay. It's going to be worth it. We're going to get you one more. soulmate yes this is your soulmate so this is definitely somebody that you are meant to 
you know, meet with and be with in this lifetime. This is definitely somebody who's coming in for a reason, okay? And I do feel like it's going to bring a lot of healing in for you and for this person. I really like this energy, okay? And I think that this is somebody who could be really good for you. This is somebody who isn't trying to play games. This is somebody who's very serious, okay? Um, whether it's male or female, it doesn't matter. You know, this is somebody who knows what they want and somebody who's been through some more things as you as well, okay? So, my loves, this is what I have for you. And if this resonates, let me know in the comments down below. And if it doesn't, check out your other sign placements. Sometimes your moon rising and Venus can resonate more than your sun sign does. And if you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Guys, if you hit that notification bell, then when our monthlies, our mid-monthlies, and our weeklies are uploaded, you guys can be notified and you can go check them out. But most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and I will pray for you. So I am sending so much love and so much light until next time.